Yo guys, what's up? It's Christian here back at you for another video and today I really don't like filming videos with my door open because I feel like I feel like someone's gonna barge in or like some paranormal thing is gonna let, let me let me close the door. Let me close the door real quick. That's a lot better. So where was I? Back at it again with another unboxing video and I have no idea what is inside of this box. This just showed up today. This one came in from, I don't even know who it's from yet. Let me check. Oh, okay, it's from Puma. Okay, hello Puma. How are you doing? So let me get my handy dandy hobby knife blade, which I really want to get back into making custom model Gundam kits and stuff. I like love making kits and, and I, I love doing those little projects, but I've been so busy lately. I haven't had enough time to watch any anime or or do anything like that. I know I know building kits may seem like a real weird weird hobby, but it's very relaxing. And then when you when you have the finished product, like this bad boy right here, like it's just so satisfying. Finishing a model kit, getting all the stickers on, painting it, doing the details, getting it on the stand, like it's so so satisfying. Anyways, let's get back to what you guys are really here for: the unboxing. I cut it open. Ooh. Okay. Okay, ooh, got a little note here. Got a little, little note. Oh, oh, thank you, Puma, thank you. Here we have it, we have a, ah, cool. We got a little post-it note with my name on the box. Puma box right here. Oh, that's so sick, I like that. Check it out, guys. They have like a Snapchat code here so you can add, I think, Puma on Snapchat if you wanted to. Oh, no way. No way. I can't believe they sent this. <laughs> the, the fidget, the fidget. Bruh. <laughs> I'm done. It's, it's not even called a fidget spinner. It's called a hand spinner. Puma included a hand spinner. I can't believe they sent this. I can't believe they sent all of this. This is really cool. I actually lost the fidget spinner. Or I think my sister might have stolen it. But I don't have a fidget spinner on hand right now. So, yo. This is actually a decent fidget spinner. Let's get back to, <laughs> let's get back to the sneakers. I keep getting distracted. Okay, got a nice little little Puma Lanar thing here. I can always throw my keys onto this. Now, let's finally get to the shoes. Here we go, here we go. They included some extra laces. Oh, they included three sets of laces for this release. This is the Sugi Netfit. The Sugi Netfit in this like gray and blue colorway. It sort of reminds me of like a spider web. The way this lacing system is here. Very, very neat. I like these. I really, really like these. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Sugi Sensei, and so this is just right up my alley. I like the fact that the back, back of the sneaker has Puma, like, stitched in. Like, it's really thick stitching embroidery. These actually do come with these, like, gray rope laces, as you guys can see. These also came with, like, these beige straight laces, which are pretty neat. They also included some more laces. These are some like blue laces, blue and white rope laces with some Puma Netfit branding in there on that label there as well. And they have a little tag here that says lace your way, customize your style. So they obviously want you to test out these different laces and see which ones you vibe with the most. Man, these are really clean. These are clean summer silhouette. I know the Sugi line is definitely a great affordable line as well for the summer. So if you're looking for a pair of, you know, lifestyle running shoes, something you can wear every single day and that you can run in and jog in if you need to, the Sugi line is definitely something Thing I would say you should look into or try on in store if you're at a store like Foot Action or a Foot Lock or Puma Lab or something like that. So, you know what, with that said, I've talked about the sneaker for the last like two minutes. Let me try these on real quick. Fit. This sneaker is very, very comfortable. Um, I threw it on and I was like, yo, this is exactly what I would expect from Puma, from this model. Very comfortable sneaker, fits great. They sent a size 10, that's my true size. So if you want these, if you're thinking about getting these, I'd say go true to size. It's definitely different. It's not your typical running sneaker. Just look at this, this thing pops, it's different. It, I know it's not gonna be for everybody, 
but I think it's really cool that they're experimenting with something like this. It's definitely uh, pushing the limits, pushing the boundaries when it comes to sneaker lacing systems because yeah, this is very, very unique. Overall, I'm really digging this silhouette. I like this knit material they use on the upper as well. The tongue, the tongue and like booty you could say is like, well the tongue here is like one, one piece. So there's no like detachable tongue, it's just all attached here. Then on the very back you have this little flappy flap and then you have that lace you know that extra lace we saw in the uh, the box? Well, they have that as a pull tab here, which is really cool. Thank you, Puma, for sending me the Suga Netfit. I do appreciate it. Very, very cool sneaker. And uh, yeah, full review coming soon for these. Where's my